Burnton. I joined the business seven years ago when I left school. I started as a shop worker, then I did picking in the warehouse, and then the company offered to pay for my class one, then I did the driving, and then now my new role is a transport supervisor. Any advice I'd give to someone who was going to apply and be a driver at Erin Foods is come do it, it's great. Um, have a laugh with, uh, with everybody, get on with your job. Um, as I say, it's good, it's, it's good wages and there's a lot of incentives there. There's uh, your bonus systems for your driver, um, for your drivers on the point system, um, vouchers to be won. Well, my name's Nick and a typical day at Herons, obviously depending where you're going, I, if it's a four o'clock start, I usually come in at half past three, check the load, check the wagon over, have a coffee or two, talk to everyone, and then off I go as quick as I can and get to me first drop, which is can be two hours away, three hours away, depending on where I'm going. The first few weeks will be a challenge finding the stores and learning how to work the back of your trailer, but once that's cracked, the job will just get easier for you. Also, the other advice I give to drivers applying for a role, um, it's uh, really good overtime rates. Um, you get your bonus paid uh, quarterly, uh, CPC cards, uh, courses all paid for, your driver's cards paid for, and your medicals paid for. The relationship between the drivers and the office staff, I feel that there's always someone you can approach if you have a problem. You can have some good friendly banter with the office staff, and every day without fail we always say goodbye and hello to the drivers when they come in.